always a go one out there, everybody. This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of the finale of my playthrough of Bowser's Fury for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I would really appreciate that. I know this was a short playthrough, but still, this is the finale. Alright. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. And let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Who is your favorite Mario Vinyl Boss and what was your favorite moment of this playthrough? I would love to know. Excuse me. Okay, so I would love to know, so... Because this is the last episode of this playthrough. We're going to do the remaining three um, Lucky Isles. Which are the remaining three we have left. First, we're going to do the one for Chris Climb Castle. I love this snowy area so much. Look at it. how pretty the snow looks on this area. Alright. The lucky eye will appear. So, we gotta do is wait for the beast to come out. So, you know what I'll do? I'll cut and I'll see you guys when the beast comes out. Alright guys, I am back, so we only have three hours to do, so we'll collect the first of the three, third lucky shine. We just have two more to collect, and then after that, we'll, we'll fight the final boss, which is actually the refight of the final boss. I will cut, and I will see you guys when um, the second Lucky Shine opens. All right, I am back. So this is the second to last. Lucky Shine. There we go. Fourth Lucky Shine. We have one more Lucky Shine we have to do. And one more Cap Shine we have to do until we fight the final boss. That means until we finish off this playthrough. Because we're on a roll. I will cut and I will see you guys when we get to... Um, the final lucky shine. All right, here we are to the final lucky shine. The final lucky shine is here to go. So, we're waiting for the beast to come out. Excuse me. And, coming out. And there's the last lucky shine. And the last shine. So we're on the roll. <clears throat> there we go. Congratulations, you've collected all the cap shines. A message is ringing out from the Giga Bell. Are you ready? Go. Cleanse the beast of its fury with the full power of the cap shines. Okay, we'll go to, um... This one. 
so we can be near the Giga Bell right on time. There we go. Let's burst him. Let's take him out. Alright, so this boss, not that much more difficult than it was before, so we just gotta do this. So, not really a difficult boss by any means at all, we just gotta do this. And I've really enjoyed this playthrough a lot, although it was a short one, but still. Taking names now. Basically, he has more health. That's the only more. He's not necessarily more difficult. He just has more health. That's the only thing about him is he just has more health than he used to do. But it's still the same old strategy. He just has more health. He's about the same difficulty as what he was before. Except he just has a little bit more health. He said you use the same strategy and you just attack him like this and then you ground pound his belly. He's, uh, he's halfway done now, so we just need to repeat. That's all we need to do. Not really a difficult boss, like I said, at all. Um, all right. There we go. Give me a pattern. There we go. That was easy. And then take that. All right, here's the real boss. He's not that much harder than what the final boss was before. So he's still not too difficult to boss. We'll unlock a certain reward after we beat this boss, and you'll get to see it. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be awesome. So it's just the same strategy as before, except he has a little bit more of these things to attack you with. Still pretty easy. You just gotta do this, and then you gotta do this, and skadoosh! That's what you gotta do. I've really enjoyed this playthrough a lot. Although, although it was a short one, but I really enjoyed it a lot. Like I said, this will be the last time I'm doing this game on my channel, of course. At least 
far as I know. Because I don't ever plan on redoing it in the future. Because I'm so pleased with this playthrough and I never plan on redoing it in the future. That's just how pleased I am with this playthrough. Because this playthrough has been so awesome. It's been so much fun. There we go. Alright. He's gonna roar at us. If it would have stood there a little bit longer, that would have been nice. So there we go, you just got to do this, that's all you got to do. How did I always get hit there? How did I get hit? I swear, I died twice. I went under, I dived underwater twice. Are you kidding me? That would have been impossible to dodge. I'm gonna play it safe for now. Because I really don't want to die. Why is that impossible to avoid? I did not anticipate that. Oh! That is impossible to avoid! There we go, we hit him again. Wow. And boom! This is my favorite part, this is my favorite part, watch this. Falcon Squash! Just like the Falcon Punch from Donkey Kong Country Returns. And enjoy these cutscenes and the final credits.
Thank you for playing. A hundred alpha, a hundred captions. Ah, oh, timed it too late. That's okay. I want to show you the new reward you get. You get the regular cat suit to look like Giga Cat Mario. So now I'm going to kind of give my opinions and final thoughts on this game. The game is fantastic, I have to say, but Bowser's Fury, the game is fantastic. This game came out last year on the Nintendo Switch. We finally 100%ed it. It came out last year. It came out in February of 2021. And I have to say, the game is fantastic. Um, Super Mario 30 World and Bowser's Fury are completely different. The thing I like about this is that you don't have to play this in Mario 30 World in order to play Bowser's Fury. You don't have to play through Super Mario 30 World in order to play Bowser's Fury. That's what I love about it. You're actually able to choose right off the bat which one you want to play. You're actually able to choose right off the bat whichever one you want to play between Bowser's Fury and Super Mario 30 World. Because you're able to choose right from the get-go which game you want to play. And that's what I love about it. You don't have to play through Super Mario 30 World in order to play Bowser's Fury. And I have to say, the game is fantastic. What I really love about Bowser's Fury is just everything about it. It's just really awesome. It's like an open world game. I just love how it's like a 3D platformer and how you have so much to explore. That's what I love about Bowser's Fury. And it's just such a good game. Definitely one of my favorite 30 Mario games I've ever played. I mean, it's not my favorite in the Mario series, but it's definitely one of my favorites. The What I love about this game is that you don't have to do the cat shines in chronological order. You can play them in any order as you choose. That is what I love about Bowser's Fury. That's the freedom you have with this game is that you can do it in any order as you choose. Um, that there is no order you have to do the cat shines in. Um, you can do it in any order as you choose. Lake Lab Cat is something huge in this game. There was no kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey that equaled the size of Lake Lab Cat. And there was no world in Super Mario 64 or in Super Mario Sunshine that equaled the size of Lake Lab Cat. And there was no galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy or in Super Mario Galaxy 2 that equaled the size of Lake Lab Cat. Um, and there was no level in Super Mario 3 Land or in Super Mario 3 World that equaled the size of Lake Lab Cat. Lake Lab Cat is something huge. Although this game is a short game, Although this game is a short game, it's definitely one of my it's definitely in my top five for Mario games, although it is a short game. It, so this game was just awesome. Um, the controls were fluid. And I just love how awesome Bowser's Fury is. Excuse me, I got Breath of the Wild vibes from it. I got Super Mario Odyssey vibes from it. I even got Super Mario Sunshine vibes from it. I got the goop in this game reminded me of Super Mario Sunshine, because there was also a goop in Super Mario Sunshine. And we know that I'm a huge Super Mario Sunshine fan, of course. So I guess if I had to write... So... This game gave me several vibes. It gave me lots of Breath of the Wild vibes because every time you get a cat shine on one of these islands, it, it adds to that tower. That's how it gave me some Breath of the Wild vibes. Also, this is a game that's accessible to anybody. This is a game that's easy. This is a game that. This is. Also, I can't even speak. This is a game anyone can play. Breath of the Wild is a little bit more complicated. And Breath of the Wild is, without doubt, a much longer game. And it's much longer to play through than this. But. If I had to pick between Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury to which one is a better game, I would definitely have to say Bowser's Fury for sure. This game would definitely be the better game between it and Super Mario 3D World. Although Super Mario 3D World is a really amazing game too, because once again I love Super Mario 3D World. Um, and we know 
I'm a huge Mario 3D World fan. So, this game was just really, really fun. It's fantastic. It's great. I'll definitely recommend you check it out. If you've never played it before and you love to play it and you have a Nintendo Switch, just download some Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Theory. And you can play Bowser's Theory, so you can some Mario 3 World as well. I bet you'll have a lot of fun with both those games. This game was a funner game than Super Mario 3 World, because I had more fun playing this game while I did Super Mario 3 World. That, that's why I have to say this game is a better game between it and 3 World. This game would have to be a better game for sure. Bowser's Theory would have to be. Because of more exploration and stuff like that. Although 3D World's really awesome too, but if I had to rank Bowser's Fury as one of my favorite 30 Mario games, it would be up there right after Super Mario Sunshine. And when and when no Sunshine's definitely one of my favorites, so Sunshine will be up there right after Super Mario Odyssey. And when no Super Mario Odyssey's always been one of my favorites, so Odyssey's gonna be up there right after the Galaxy games. Because Super Mario Galaxy is my favorite 3D Mario game of all time. We already know that. We already know that Super Mario Galaxy is my favorite 3D Mario game of all time. And that's all my opinions I have to give on Bowser's Fury. great game. I'll definitely recommend checking it out. Once again, if I had to pick between Super Mario 3 World and Bowser's Fury, which one was the better game, I'll definitely have to say Bowser's Fury for sure. Because Bowser's Fury is a funner game. But Super Mario 3 World is still a great game too. Because I love that game too. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to drop a like on the video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time I make videos come out. Have a good one. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys whenever we do our next playthrough. Peace out.